Hello, I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an attribute to Active Directory. Now, the attribute that we're going to add is a birth date field. And we're going to add that into your Active Directory attributes. So, for example, let's say you have a company and that company wants to know everybody's birthdays so that they can send out a happy birthday message to everybody. But in Active Directory, we don't have a field for a birthday. So I'm going to show you how to actually add the birthday attribute field to Active Directory. So let's go ahead and jump on over to our Active Directory server. Now this is just a normal Windows Server 2012 R2 system. Now there's a couple things we have to do before we can even start setting up our attributes. And the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run a command so that we can even manipulate the Active Directory schema. Because right now, the Active Directory schema is not going to be available. Let's go ahead and go out to our MMC console. And when I, we're in our MMC console. If I go to Add Remove Snap-In, you're going to notice that I actually don't have an Active Directory schema here. It's not available. So that's the very first thing we're going to have to do. We're going to have to set this up so that we can see the Active Directory schema. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go out to a command prompt. Now once we're at the command prompt, we're going to run a very simple command. Okay, we're going to run the reg server 32 command and we're going to run it with the schmmgmt.dll command. Now what this is going to do is this is going to add the Active Directory schema tool to our MMC snap-in. So once I hit enter here, all right, it'll come through, said it's been successfully added. Now when I go back out, and I run my MMC and I go to add remove snap-in you'll now see that I have the active directory schema so we're gonna go ahead and say add and say OK now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a new attribute to our schema if you scroll down we'll go down to the B's you'll notice that there is no feel for birth date. They have a birth location, but there is no feel for birth date. So that's what we're going to do. So when we click on our attributes, we're going to right click and we're going to say create attribute. And at that point, we're going to say continue. Now, there's something here that I want to show you so that you understand how this actually works. If you can see to create an actual attribute here, we're going to have to come up with an X500 object ID. Now this is an object ID that gets created by using a script. Okay, So we're going to need to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this real quick. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this script. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go out and we're going to go right online and we're just going to go out to Google all right I have YouTube set as the home page let me go out to Google and you can use Bing you can use whoever you want and what we're going to do is when we get to Google we're going to actually say we need an OID script. Now when it comes up what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the obtaining an object identifier from Microsoft and script generating one. So here actually shows how you can obtain. Now here's two websites right here. So let's go ahead and we'll just click on this one and we'll go down 
Now, the cool thing is, okay, it's not this page, it's the other page then. Should be to generate from TechNet. Let's try this one here. Let's open this up so that you can see this a little bit too. You'll see that there's already a script written for you. You don't even have to do nothing. The script is already here. So all you have to do is say copy code. Okay, so I'm gonna allow access. Let's make sure I copy the code. And then what we're gonna do is right on our desktop, we're gonna create a new notepad, a new text document. All right, and this is gonna be our OID script. And now I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna paste. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, now I'm gonna save it. Now there's one more thing we have to do. We have to change this to actually be a VBS. Okay, it's gotta be a, uh, a Visual Basic script. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come under my, this PC, all right, and I'm gonna go to my view here and in my view, I'm going to go to my options. I'm sorry. Actually, I want to go to the... Yeah, it's actually my view. I want to go to my view here. And I want to set up my file name extensions. Sorry, there it is right there. I want to see things with file name extensions. Okay. So, now... Instead of a TXT, all I want to do is actually click on this and I'm going to change it to a VBS. And that's it. That's all I got to do. And then I'm going to say OK. Now, when I run this and I double click on it, it's going to actually kick me off and here's my script. So the number I need is this one right here. So let's go back in. We're going to go to our attributes. We're going to say create an attribute. And this is going to be a birthday. Okay. And the description is going to be the employee's birthday. And the syntax that I'm going to choose here is I'm going to make it a case insensitive string so I can put anything in this that I want. Now I have to actually put this root ID right here under the object. So we got to just copy it word for word. Now unfortunately if you you can't just like click on this and copy. You're going to have to go through and actually type it in. So let's go 1.2. 840 .1 .3556 .1 .8000 .2554 .5300 .8007 .3507 dot one six nine one six nine three nine dot four one three one one we're almost done dot one one four three nine two seven six dot four five one six two three and that's it and then all we're gonna say is okay and that's it. Now at this point, now every once in a while, I've had it where I get an MMC snapping error. If you do, it's okay. As long as it's created, you're good to go. So let's just scroll down. And we're going to make sure that we now have our birth date field right there. Now we're going to go to classes. And under our classes, we're going to go to the user class. Because we're going to put this under the user settings for the user class. So I'm going to click on user class. I'm going to right click and say properties. And at that point, I'm going to go to the attributes and I'm going to click add. And the attribute I'm going to add is I'm just going to scroll down until I get to the birthday attribute. 
and here you have birth date. So I'll say okay. And that's it. I'm going to say apply. Okay, see here you get the MMC snapping error, but it's okay because it's already there. So I'll just say okay, and I'm going to close the MMC down. That's all I need to do. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to restart Active Directory. So we're going to go out to our administrative tools. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go out to our services. And then we're going to click on the Active Directory, Directory Services right here, Domain Services. And we're going to right click and we're just going to say Restart. And now we're going to end up restarting the Active Directory Services. Now once we restart the Active Directory Services, what's going to end up happening is we're now going to have a new attribute inside Active Directory for the birth date. Now, it's not going to be a field that's easily seen to where when you go out and create a new user, you have your first name, last name, so forth. You actually are going to have to see the attributes tab and click on it to add the birthday. But there's all kinds of fields. People don't even realize that these attributes are out there. And there's all kinds of fields like employee ID numbers and all kinds of things that you can fill in in these attributes. So let's go ahead and show you how to now get to that attribute. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually just open up Active Directory, go to Users and Computers, and then here we have our Will Panic account. Now if I just double click on Will Panic, I can't see the Attributes tab. It's not a normal tab by default. What I need to do is under the, I'm on New Hampshire is where I'm at. I need to actually go under my view and I need to go to advanced features. Now when I click on New Hampshire and I click on my Will Panic, I now can see my attributes editor. And if I scroll down, here's the birthday. Now all I have to do is click on it and set the birthday. 19. 50. Okay? Put in any birthday you want. You say okay, and now the birthday field is set. You say okay, and that's it. You've now set an attribute that wasn't there now to have an attribute within Active Directory. So, in this video, I just showed you how to actually add a new attribute to Active Directory. Now remember, to do this, you're going to have to get the script off of Microsoft's website. Just copy the script, paste it into a text. Make sure that when you save it, you can then see the extension. You've got to change it to a .vbs. Run the script, get the actual object ID number that you're going to need. Create your object ID, add it to the user class, and you're all set. I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. Thanks for watching my video. Please make sure that you tune in to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash C slash William Panic. And I have videos out there on all kinds of subjects, including DNS, TCP IP, uh, TCP IP. So feel free to go through and watch any of the videos, and I hope they help you out. If there's any video that you would like to see or like to see something done on a server, please just feel free to let me know, and I'll go ahead and create a video and show you how it's done on Windows Server 2012 R2. Thanks for watching.